Welcome to Tamara Tattletales. I'm Tamara and I spill the tea on your favorite reality stars. Married at First Sight season 13, Houston. Michaela, who was matched with Zach, recently posted that she signed her divorce decree. Yep, their divorce is final. She posted a very emotional response about the end of her marriage. Before I show the video, I want to give you a little bit of background of what happened after she and Zach parted ways so that you'll have context for some of the points she mentions. After the show ended, she sought help and was eventually diagnosed with having attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, also known as ADHD. She seems to be leaning in to understand her diagnosis and is learning how to differentiate between her behaviors that are caused by ADHD opposed to her personality, like her natural character. So even though she's super sad in this video, I don't want to give the impression that she's been walking around sad this entire time. As you can see in these videos, she's been enjoying her life and even recently purchased a townhome and seems to be having a good time decorating and doing some home improvements. So generally when she posts, she's dancing, trying on clothes, playing with her dog and doing random silly things. In other words, this video is a sad moment in time that she decided to capture and share, but I don't believe these tears represent her normal day-to-day -day demeanor. But with all that said, as of the date of this video, her Instagram and TikTok accounts have been taken down. So yeah, there you have it. All right, here we go. So usually I know a lot of people who... <laughs> it's my stomach, <laughs> I ate. Um, don't want to exhibit or show real emotion, right? Like, you're always supposed to show, like, when you're cheerful or ha and happy. <sighs> and, you know, when you're delighted and all that. But that's not real. That's not real life, right? In real life, you experience different emotions, like you experience sadness, you experience anger, you experience happiness, excitement, um, the mellowness, peace, like you experience a lot of things. Well, uh, right now, I, today, I signed my divorce decree. And while it was definitely necessary, and I'm not necessarily sad about that, like, I'm not sad about signing the, the, the decree, like, um, because the divorce had to happen, I'm sad that I didn't get the outcome that I thought was going to happen. Um, I think I looked way too far into a future that did not exist. Like I think a lot of us do. And I'm sad about that. And I wonder, again, I found out so many things about myself that I'm like, gosh, if I would have known that years ago, would I have made a different trek, you know, in my life? And I'll never know. Like, I'll literally never know. And so I had to sit with this experience and just to know that it happened to me on TV or not it happened if I were to take all that shit right million viewers blah 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 take it away and think about like the actuality of what I went through the feelings that I feel are still real and I think people miss that that we are still human like we still went through things that are traumatic. And I mean every single person who's done this experience, unless they're a complete psychopath. Uh, you know, psychopaths, they don't have that. They don't, they lack that. Psychopaths and narcissists, they lack empathy. So they don't, they genuinely don't know. Um, and they'll never know. But for everyone else who does feel something, and I saw in a lot of my, my castmates, right? Because now it's just a show. It's the thing that I did. And I wish that it would have. 
I wish that I would have known that it was just the thing that I was doing, right? I wish I would have known that it was all pretend. Because had I known it was all pretend, I wouldn't have invested myself as much as I did. Best belief, okay? On, off. Uh, but I didn't. And I did invest. And now the investment is over. And it sucks. And All I can do now is just wish and hope and pray and all the things above that my next spouse, right? Because we date and, you know, we move on. That's always the case. But at this point, I just hope that my next spouse, like of things, my forever, is what I want and who I pray for. The last one, the last turnaround of my try at being a wife and, and try at doing better and being good did not work out. And it fucking sucks. And that is why now, like in my dating life, I protect it at all costs. And I don't say anything and I don't expose anything because it's just like, nope. I don't know what the fuck that was that I did last year or in 2021, but it's not going to be what happens going forward. Um, I want a beautiful life, peaceful and loving. So, yeah, just wanted to express that.